Holly and Maya here with my co-founder, Anne-Marie Hoftailing. We are Story in Printing. And at Story in Printing, we teach great people and companies the art and science of storytelling. And we're doing lots of videos like this with some quick hits about tips, um, talking about a lot of topics related to your professional development and your personal development, because those two things are totally intertwined, as we know. And today, Anne-Marie, I want to talk to you about this fabulous piece that you just dropped on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And you talk about Halloween costumes, and we talk a lot about personal branding. Tell me about sort of the impetus for this piece. We're going to link it below, but I want to hear straight from the, from the horse's mouth. Yeah, so I had this photo. My mom recently died, and we came across all these old photos. And one of them was from when I was like eight years old in this like <laughs> brocade silver turban with a large gold necklace mm -hmm. and what could only be described as like a 70s 50 caftan yeah. and um friend of mine Skylar said what were you and I said I don't even know and she goes you were your 40 year old self and we both laughed and I thought I would wear that outfit today maybe that is what I was totally and what it made me think about was um, I was in O'Hare airport once and I saw this little girl and she was like, you know, in the glitterly, glittery light up tennis shoes and a tutu and a cape. And she had all this business going on. Swagger. But, but she had, yeah, she had executive presence, this thing we're talking about all the time. <laughs> She had a brand, like she had power and she was walking through the world so sure of herself. And she was with her mom at this cafe and I sort of sidle up beside her and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? She's like, hey, you know? And there was part of me when I walked away that just was crushed because I thought, what happens? Like at some point, like fear, of judgment and shame and all these things like beat the out of us. So we become more and more invisible and less and less of ourselves and more yeah. fearful of just being entirely who we are. And one of the things you and I always talk about in personal branding is when you can't distinguish yourself in the marketplace, you're like everybody else. Exactly. You know, if you're not saying anything interesting, you sound like everybody else. Right. And it's not until you tap back into that person that you were when you felt fearless and most yourself and bravest and most courageous that people can identify you as you're like, yeah, I want to follow that. Now, is there an inherent risk in that? I don't think there is. Does it mean some people won't choose you? Yes, but that's already true. Those right, you're not for everyone. Right. No, you're not for everyone. I'm not for everyone. A whole lot of people are going to come to us and go, this is, these are not our humans, these people. <laughs> that's and that's cool because they're probably not our humans. And I just think, you know, I often think like, think about when you were really little and your absolute favorite Halloween costume and how that made you feel. What was yours? Mine was a Hershey kiss. <laughs> It was like my if my mom was watching this, she'll remember it. it I was silver, and it was I, I mean I was a Hershey. You were Hershey's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It made me feel awesome. You feel awesome. You feel like I am so cool. I am so fabulous, and I think that you know when we're all trying to contort ourselves to blend in and be like everyone else. I think that what we really end up doing is being a lesser version of ourselves right. instead of the highest and greatest version of ourselves. So that's really what the piece was about. And it, for us, really ties into executive presence, personal yeah. branding, and how you differentiate yourself in the marketplace. Like being your full self. And yeah, maybe that means you wear really bright, wacky ties that nobody else wears. Fantastic. Wear your freaking crazy tie. Like right. be your your full self. And I think you will be surprised at how that invites conversation and mm -hmm. how, I mean, how many people have we met based on outfits on our business trip? I was just about to say this. So back when we could travel, um, every time we'd walk Golden through days. the airport, I would see like somebody would look at one of us and be like, yes. <laughs> And by the way, my, I totally learned to embrace my own personal style and articulate it 
um, you know, from an aesthetic perspective through working with you because you were, you very much empowered me to, to do that. I mean, when I was practicing law, I thought that I had to go to court every day in like a black three P a black suit from banana Republic. And like, that was what I was supposed to look like, you know, and God forbid you wear pants. Like that was in, by the way, in the not so distant past sort of the thinking. And when I started just like, you know, not straightening my hair and like wearing clothes that really made me feel comfortable in my own skin, like it, it, people respond to it. I remember once, Anne-Marie, we were in, I think, SFO, and there was this totally fabulous flight attendant. Do you remember this? And she's walking toward you. I mean, she had great hair. She had a bold, like a purple lip, and she had some of these great accessories. And it was like the two of you exchanged a look of like knowing recognition, recognition that you have seen your soul's counterpoint in, in another style icon. <laughs> So good. Like we but, ran towards each other in slow motion. She I was, was like, like, yeah, I know, oh, I know, I know love, you too, right? Um, but this also, I mean, this has such application to your point and in business development, people remember you if you are showing up as your full authentic self and not sort of trying to fit into whatever box, you know, frankly, you know, a box that most people don't fit into. And we talk about this a lot with executive presence, right? Like I just wrote this piece um, that we're trying, that I'm trying to get published um, on that very idea that like this idea of presence historically has been sort of boxed into, you know, white heteronormative um, of a certain age, of a certain, certain experience level, able-bodied, straight, all of that stuff. Well, guess what? Most of us don't fit into that box. Why kill yourself trying? Yeah. And I love what you said about business development, because we also talk about like narrative vulnerability and this idea of truly being who you are and being seen. Mm -hmm. And there are so many experiences that we talk about in storytelling that I think surprise people is leadership is not about being safe. It's about being courageous. And I think that, you know, we're not talking about like, hey, you should show up to your office and, you know, half naked, you know, obviously that. I mean, that's not what we're saying. <laughs> But what we are saying is you should like you should be able to express yourself honestly and i don't feel like you know listen a lot of our clients are attorneys i've gone to so many events in a sea of black suits and navy and i am never wearing those things and i can tell you like a hundred people come and talk to me because it's easy to find me in a citrus yellow jacket brocade right. jacket in a sea of black in your halloween costume from when you were eight years old <laughs> in my actual live halloween costume from when i was eight, eight years old so there's there's this huge advantage to embracing who you are and fe feeling less fearful of that and i think for me just because it's halloween it reminded me of that and coming yeah. across this photo but i think overall there's something that everybody can learn from that in terms of being brave enough to just tap in to who you really want to be and being okay with that and trusting that that's an invitation for people to see you who you really are and in this really strange way it builds a kind of credibility absolutely absolutely and we want to hear from you if you're watching this and this speaks to you you know when were you your bravest like what 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 steps can you take to really embrace your full and authentic self in business you know which frankly you know now we're going to talk in another video about virtual virtual meetings and and sort of virtual gatherings developing business virtually i think it's never been more important to show up as your full self when you're on like a two-dimensional computer screen am i right about that? sure a hundred percent tell us what your favorite costume was as a child in the comments we would love to hear i love to know i love when people surprise me and they're like this happened once and somebody was like a cow i loved it like i love the pattern i have the horns i was like all right. A banana. <laughs> a banana. Tell us, we want to hear about it. All right. If you want to see that photo of me, go to LinkedIn because it's on that article. Click it's there. there. We'll link it below. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends about story and printing. We love your support. We appreciate you. Goodbye. Bye.